What if I told you you've been playing sneaky time wrong this entire time? This video features the best tips and tricks to help you play the sneakiest assassin of them all, Leon. Alright, so to start off this guy, let's go ahead and talk about Leon's main attack, Spinner Blades. Leon fires four long-range blades that sweep from left to right in a cone. The damage dealt depends on how far they travel before hitting their targets. Targets close to Leon take the most damage, and targets near Leon's maximum range take significantly less damage. The attack takes 0.55 seconds to complete. Now when playing Leon, it's important to try to use as much walls and other obstacles to maneuver your way to get closer to the enemies. I mean, this just makes the most sense because the closer you are to your targets, like I just said, the more damage that Leon is going to be able to do. Now if for some reason you're playing on a map that doesn't really have a lot of obstacles and walls, you can just use Leon's very quick movement speed to try and close down the distance as quickly as possible. Or you can even use his fast movement speed to your advantage when needing to run away and escape if you are in danger. Also, another thing to remember when using Leon's main attack is that since his main attacks kind of sweep from left to right, you can actually stray from right to left to counter the sweeping motion that the shurikens are being shot out in. This can be helpful in general if you're from the mid range or even long range and you need to chip away at the enemies like to either get them down or if you need to charge up your super. Now, kind of going off of that recent tip is like just don't be afraid to like kind of attack enemies from a far range if you have to. He has a very long attack range surprisingly for an assassin, so use that to your advantage to help you charge your initial super especially. Overall with his main attack he has quite a bit of versatility like he can do a lot of damage close up and he has a pretty long attack range as well that can help you chip away the enemies and even help you charge your super. Alright guys the next thing I want to talk about with Leon is going to be his super smoke bomb. Leon turns himself invisible for 6 seconds allowing him to either retreat or ambush an enemy. Enemy brawlers can actually see him if he's within 4 nope. tiles of them. If Leon actually attacks while invisible he loses his invisibility nope. completely. If he takes damage during his super however he will momentarily be visible now i know there's a lot of you guys out there that play with like no game sound or like music at all but playing against a leon it's very important to listen for some auditory cues when leon actually goes invisible either if he's standing in a bush or if he's out in the open you can actually hear him go invisible this is a great thing to just kind of listen for because if you can hear leon going invisible you can kind of prepare that he might be sneaking up onto you but okay anyway when you're actually playing leon it's important to try and use his super whenever you're like standing in a bush or if you're off screen so the enemies can't see you using it. You never want to use it right next to the enemy because they will know that you're invisible nope. and possibly know which direction you're going to run in. Obviously the whole point of you having that invisibility is so you can sneak up onto the enemies and actually surprise them so you can get an easy kill. Now another thing that Leon Super is actually fantastic for is escaping in tight situations where you're probably about to die. If the enemies see you go invisible for whatever reason, don't run in a straight line. Make sure you are making your movements unpredictable and as sporadic as you can. I mean this just kind of goes for any brawler right like you don't want to be running in a straight line making it easier for the enemies to hit you however when you're playing leon and using his super and you want to be sneaking around yeah it's important that you want to get hit and kind of reveal yourself while you're using your super now something i see a lot of leon players actually messing up with is they're trying to use their super and sneaking up onto multiple enemies if you use your super and try to kill two enemies theoretically you actually won't be able to deal enough damage to get them both down most of the time your shurikens might split and hit both of the enemies and not just one target you obviously don't want this to happen because if you end up splitting your attacks, you're not going to at least get one person down and that way both of them can work together to get you down. Now a tip that I actually want to follow up with that recent tip is actually when you're using your super and if you whatever reason want to sneak up onto multiple enemies, make sure you have a lot of ammo before going onto the enemies. You just want to have as much ammo as you can so when you sneak up onto the enemies and try to burst them down, it's not so much of a struggle. Now a little more advanced tip when using Leon is to actually flex your super before running inside of a bush. This way you can kind of trick nope. the enemies making them think nope. that you're about to use your super when you run into nope. that bush. This will actually cause them to probably retreat and panic thinking that you're going to try to use your nope. super to go on to them. I mean this is just going to be a great tip to use in general like you're going to be pushing them off the objective. You're going to be gaining a lot of control by just doing nothing and you can just take the time to heal up or just kind of just cause a lot of confusion. But okay we talked about his main attack. We talked about his super. Now let's go into his gadgets. But the first one I want to talk about is going to be clone projector. Leon creates a clone of himself 
which allows him to confuse enemies or to escape. The clone chases down the nearest enemy but won't actually do anything when it reaches the enemy. It actually replicates Leon's health at the gadget's activation time and it can't heal up whatsoever. And just keep in mind, the clone actually takes double the damage to what you would usually take. Now the reason why this gadget is kind of underrated is you can use it so that you can waste the enemy's main attacks or better yet, their supers. The only thing you're gonna have to watch out for is that as you get higher up, people are gonna know that it's your clone because it's taking double the damage that you would usually be taking. Now when I recommend you actually using this gadget is going into a bush first and then activating it so then it actually looks like it's you running out of that bush and what's even better is you can have the clone run out of the bush and if you have your super you can use your super and go invisible to sneak up onto the enemy now something i see a lot of leon players using this gadget incorrectly with is using it when they don't have a lot of health since the clone will actually replicate how much health you have it would just be a straight up dead giveaway that it's your clone running at them the only reason i say this is because why would you run directly at the enemies with that kind of low health. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. So just try to heal up as much as you guys can before using this gadget because, you know, you obviously want it to have the most amount of health possible so that it looks like it's you and also it can tank some shots for you. Now, kind of piggybacking off what I just said, like, this is actually a great gadget to kind of protect yourself from those single high projectile brawlers. If you know that you're about to get hit by, like, a Brock rocket or maybe, like, a Piper gadget, then you can actually have this clone just tank the shot for you and that way you can keep your health up and keep the pressure going. Going. And another underrated feature with this gadget is since it kind of tracks down your nearest enemy closest to you, if you know that an enemy is camping in a bush waiting for you, hey, you can just use the clone to scout the bushes for you. Although, yes, it would be stupid for the enemies to try to, you know, surprise Leon because he does so much damage at a close range, but it's just always good to have the clone just basically sacrifice for you so that you at least know where the enemies are at all times. Now, yes, clone projector sounds very good on paper and it sounds like it would be the better gadget, but lollipop drop is actually the one you need to be using with Leon. When this gadget is activated, Leon drops a lollipop below him that creates an area that turns him and his allies invisible. The lollipop has 1500 health and decays for 75 health a second until it's completely destroyed. Now when initially using this gadget, you want to be placing it behind walls or obstacles so that it stays alive as long as possible. You obviously want to keep it up so that you can have that area controlled and keep it invisible for you and your teammates so you don't want it being destroyed super quickly. Now a kind of big brain thing you can do with this lollipop drop gadget is to place it right next to the bushes. This way the enemies won't see you actually running inside the bush since you'll be invisible and when they destroy the gadget you're going to be completely gone. Now kind of like with the clone projector gadget you can even use the lollipop drop gadget to tank incoming shots for you. Same thing with like the piper or the brock example like you can pop down this gadget and have it tank that shot for you you know I wouldn't really recommend against multi projectile brawlers because once it's destroyed then yeah you're going to get hit after that. But okay we talked about both of his gadgets now let's go to talk about his star powers but the first one i want to talk about is going to be smoke trails with smoke trails leon's movement speed is increased by 30 percent while his super is active this will allow him to move much faster while he is invisible now a very specific scenario where this star power can be helpful is inside of brawl ball when you're playing brawl ball you can go ahead and just use your super run super quickly grab the ball and this way it'll just help you move that much faster towards the goal since leon already has a very fast movement speed imagine getting that extra 30 percent when you're carrying the ball like yeah there's no way any brawl is going to catch up to you. Now this star part can also be helpful if you're playing on game modes and maps that are just bigger. <laughs> like most of the bigger maps like 5v5 or showdown, it's just going to be helpful to use smoke trails as well because there's just more ground you need to cover. So if you can go invisible and get that additional speed boost to cover more ground, go invisible and sneak up onto the enemies, hey, that can always help Leon out. Realistically, this star power can be even better if you're using it with this hypercharge. Like you're going to be moving extremely quick, you're going to have the invisibility when you're attacking, it's just so good, but it's actually not more valuable than his Invisiheal star power. With Invisiheal, if Leon has missing health while using his super, he regains 1360 health every second for the duration of his super. He can heal up for a total of 8160 health or 10880 health if you're using the Lingering Smoke Mythic gear. He will stop healing if he attacks and loses his invisibility, but he can still heal if he takes damage. Now just like Smoke Trails, this star power can even be helpful inside of Brawl Ball as well like if you use your super and then you go ahead and grab the ball like you can just keep on healing while you're carrying the ball and taking damage from the enemies this way it's just gonna make it that much harder for the enemies to take it down like getting an extra 1360 health every second eight that may make or break you getting a goal or not now yes the downside with using this star power is you know you're not gonna get the additional movement speed like you would with smoke troll so that kind of is a bummer but realistically you know this used to be like a very meme star power
star, but now with the addition of his hypercharge, I mean, you gotta be using this star power. It's just hilarious to me because for the longest time, Invisi Hill was such a meme star power. It wasn't used over Smoke Turtles, but now with the addition with his hypercharge, I mean, you gotta be using Invisi Hill. Now, speaking of his hypercharge, let's go ahead and go over his hypercharge, Limbo. When activated, if Leon attacks while using his super, he remains invisible. He also gains a 25% damage boost, a 25% shield boost, and a 20% speed boost. Now this hypercharge basically saved Leon in the meta, like he was considered one of the worst legendary brawlers, he was like subpar in the meta, but this is just what made him so broken now. I mean the stat buffs that you receive that you can stack with Invisi Hill star power makes it so that you can move quickly, but also heal up at the same time. I mean it's just so broken, like if you attack even though you're invisible from using your super, the hypercharge will just let you keep on healing from the Invisi Hill star power. I mean do you know how terrifying it is when a hypercharged Leon can just move extremely quickly, keep on healing, and can sneak up onto you and still stay invisible when he's attacking. I mean, you got everything you could possibly need with Leon's hypercharge right there. But alright, now I kind of want to go over Leon's gear. So the first one we're going to talk about is, yes, it's going to be his mythic gear, Lingering Smoke. When this gear is equipped, Leon's super duration is increased from 6 seconds to 8 seconds. Now, no matter which star power you use, whether if it's Smoke Trails or if it's Invisible Heal, you gotta be going with this mythic gear. I mean, kind of like Invisible Hill, like this is probably one of the worst mythic gears in the entire game, but now it's actually really good because of his hypercharge. For example, like if you use it with the Smoke Trail star power, you will get to keep your super for an additional 2 seconds and you can use that as an opportunity to run quicker to nope. cover ground on the map. Or if you want to use this mythic gear with his Invisible Heal star power, you will get to keep your super for the additional 2 seconds and you can use that opportunity to heal up for an additional 2720 health which may save your life. Now if for whatever reason if you don't think you're going to be benefiting from this mythic gear because say like you don't save your super for that entire duration, you know I kind of was like that before, you could also run with these alternative gears too. For example, damage gear is going to be good as well like you can deal that extra 15% damage when Leon falls below 50% health. I mean this is just a fantastic gear for Leon because you need to be getting close up to the enemies and when you do most of the time you'll probably be dropping below 50% health. And that way when you're dropping below that health hey the damage gear will kick it and that may or not help you get down an extra kill. Now if you are playing Leon in game modes or maps that have a lot of bushes I do really recommend running the speed gear because with the speed gear he'll gain an extra 15% speed boost when moving throughout the bushes. I mean this is just great in general like he already moves pretty quickly but you know you can always benefit with an additional movement speed so you can close down the distance between the enemies. And this just kind of goes for any brawler but you know running throughout the bushes it may help you get to the objective that much faster and it can help you maintain control that much easier. Well there you guys go a complete brawler guide on how to play Leon. I know it took me quite a while to make this like he's been broken for a couple weeks now but you know I thought he was gonna get nerfed but anyway yeah there you guys go a brawler guide for Leon. Well anyway guys if you guys enjoyed that brawler guide I highly recommend you guys go check out this brawler guide right here.